Hello everyone, this episode is going to be a short one, we're just going to do a first person slide. Um, this will probably be one of the one of the two videos uh, I'll be doing until a break, until the new year, when I'll be coming back with some new tutorials. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new input action. Uh, we can use, I think we can use jump. So let's we'll take jump, we'll do IA underscore slide. Now let's go in here. So we've got, that's fine. And we need to add this to the action map. So default and then add and then slide. We'll give it a key of X. So we're gonna, this is the first person uh, template. We're going to open it up. I'm going to call our new slide. Like so. So what you can do here is if you have a stamina system, you can tie this to the stamina system by just doing like a branch to check if you have stamina. But I don't have one for this. So we were just going to create a um, simple one. You're going to create a simple uh, is gliding variable. You can use the uh, keys uh, system, um, but I'm just going to use this. So we're going to do, we're going to say ongoing is true. We set sliding to true. Then we're going to create time. Uh, we're going to add a timeline. And this is going to be the slide timeline. And what this is going to do is it's going to lower our characters down. So length will be 0 0.2. Add a new track, add a float track. Call this slider. And we're going to add two points. One is going to be at 0 and 0. And the other is going to be at 0 0.2. And it will be 1. We can highlight both nodes and press one to make a nice smooth curve. Right? And then that's all we need to do in that. So the next thing we are going to, from the direction, we're going to pull off and say, switch on timeline direction. And this is going to be checking if we are playing the timeline forward or do we want to play it backwards? Forward, set capsule half height, and we're going to half the height of the capsule. Uh, so from the half height, we're going to do a lerp. The two values, I'm going to use the capsule component, and I'm going to check. So currently it is 96, so 96, and then half of that would be, I think, 50. 43. No, it's 48. I'm no good at maths. And we plug the alpha into the slider thing here. So after that, we are going to do a launch character. I'm going to split the launch velocity like this. The way we get these, we're going to get actor forward vector. We're going to multiply, change the bottom node to a float. I'm going to set this to 150. And this is basically going to launch. This is going to how far we launch forward. I'm going to split the struct. The X is going to be the X, the Y is going to be the Y, the launch velocity Z, I'm going to do minus 200. And this is basically going to be, if you jump in the air and try and slide, it's going to slam you down to the floor. If you don't want that, if you want to be able to slide in the air, you can remove this. So now what we can do now is uncompleted, which is where we let go of the button. We can set is sliding to false. 
Uh, ongoing, we can hook up to play. Um, is sliding, we can then, uh, once we've completed, we can stick it into reverse. If we try this now, let's see. So if I press X, I slide forward. And if I let go, I stop. We're not, I don't think we're standing. Are we standing back up? Let's check. Oh, because we've not done backwards. So for backwards, what we want to do is we're going to set the capsule half height. And we're just going to set that back to normal. So uh, 96 like this. Um, so hook that up to the capsule component and then play. So now we have like a nice like, glide and this. But if you keep it held down, like you could slide around like this. What we can do as well is we can come into the uh, character movement and we can look at things like um, walking. So we can select the friction, say we lower the friction here to three. We've got the braking de deceleration. Let's lower that down a bit. Uh, is there anything else we can change? I think that's fine. So let's see now. And that, so we have a little bit of a, once we've stopped sliding, we have a little bit of a, we continue on for a tiny bit. Like if you notice, like if I let go, we continue forward a little bit. So these are the, the, some values you can play around with, but this is just a very simple slide. And I'll show you what I mean by the uh, launching the character. So if I come off here, off the hill, for example, it will actually force us down onto the floor. But if I don't, and we've set that to zero, if I jump in the air and then do it, we actually like life like this. Maybe this is what you want, more like a a kick. If you see, I can slide like over the ledges and stuff. But this is just a very simple way of implementing a slide. Like it's literally this is the whole thing. And that will give you a nice slide like so. If you then want to do things like stop the slide, what you can do is, so to stop the slide, what we could do is we can do another variable called stop slide thing. And we can say ongoing, um, if stop sliding is, tr is false, I'm going to stop the sliding like this, then we're going to say, once we've stopped sliding, we're going to check if stop sliding and is sliding. Just move these up here like so. That's true. We want to reverse. Uh, no, we want to grab the slide timeline here and we can say reverse. Uh, reverse. This is, if you do this, this is basically just linking up to here. So you don't really need these nodes connected. We can then, once we've completed, we can say stop sliding to false like this. And now if we try and actually let's key bind do this and then we can say stop sliding to true. So we're sliding and we stop, but we're still going. Why is that? Well, because I had accidentally put that over there while testing. Oops. So we slide, we stop, we let go of the key and then we can slide again. So you could use this for like, if you hit a wall, you could stop the carry to slide in. Or if you have some stamina system or something. Well, that's a quick and easy way to have a slide.
with a way to stop the slide. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Like I say, this is one video and then there's going to be another video and then I'm going to be on a break until Christmas. So to support me, I have a Patreon that I need to upload some more files to and also buy me a coffee. I hope this has been useful and I'll see you in the next video.